Welcome to part 2 of the 3000 hours inspection of my LS4. Today my cockpit is gonna get a paint job as well as we will finish the 3000 hours inspection. I have some bad news as well as good news but I'll tell you about all of it in this video. Here I just want to show you how much effort it was to cover all the pieces that should not get painted and I was done after two hours of taping but the effort will be worth it since the result will be really clean. So this baby is going to the paint shop now and in the meantime I want to show you the before and after of my brother where Stefan helped me getting a new look and see for yourself. Here we go, just an hour later, the paint job is done and I'm really really pleased with how it came out. They used structure paint uh, which makes the surface a bit more riffled and you won't be able to see scratches as easily as if it was really smooth um, and it's in dark grey. Just something very satisfying passing through is removing all the tapes where you can finally reveal the clear lines of the paint which turned out really great and it's just a pain to remove all the tapes from the um, cables and stuff but that's what you got to go through um, and I think it was really worth it. I can recommend everyone getting a new paint job instead of the old Rolladen Schneider paint. Um, and yeah, that's it with the cockpit so far. And I wanted to show you the new color of the inside of the wings, uh, which is black now. I think it looks really nice and clean, makes it look like a completely new plane. And we're gonna go deal with the ceiling of the wings. Um, I learned a new hack or tip which is to use four fingers, three for holding the tape and your thumb is leading the tape. That's how you can apply tape really fast and precise and I was just doing the last bit, the tesa. And as soon as you're done, you just have to cut off your tape in a 45 degree angle facing towards the front. And that's how it's, it's supposed to look like. And then you're done. Bad news were that the water bladder wasn't intact. Good news, I got a new one. And finally, we assembled the glider for the very first time to check if there was clearance and then we had to adjust the tangential bushings. I hope I pronounced that right. Here you can see how the bushings are turned out exactly four or five times depends on what you chose and then screw locking put on and we screw back in the bushings um, and yes that's how it's done we had to repeat this with all the four bushings since all of them had clearance during the days I spent at DG I learned a lot and as soon as this work was done I could pack up and uh, I've got something with me um, for my next project which will be to install the so-called Röger Haken which uh, makes it easier or 
it makes it even possible to escape from the LS4 in case of emergency. And if you're interested in the installation, you should definitely not miss this video. And then I'll see you next time. Bye!